Hi, I'm Paul Oliver and welcome to my course, Getting Started with Azure Functions. I've been an enterprise architect in both AWS and Azure. I'm passionate about microservices, continuous delivery, test-driven development, cloud architecture, and functions as a service apps. Let's talk a little bit about what the course will cover. First, I'll introduce you to building your first function app. Then we'll dive into some of the languages you can use with Azure Functions from C Sharp, JavaScript, F Sharp, PHP, Python, and more. Then we'll talk about interacting with your Azure function, from triggering it so you can kick it off when you need to, to integrate with other Azure services using bindings. Then we'll talk about architecture, like serverless, security and best practices, and even how you can deploy your function app in an enterprise environment. And we'll also cover monitoring, troubleshooting and monitoring your Azure functions, even debugging. Did you know 90% of your computing output is wasted typically? According to Forbes, typical servers sitting in a data center are only utilizing 5 to 15% of their computing capacity. That's a waste and you're paying for it. And this is why serverless architecture is becoming so popular among architects. You only pay for what you use, you can take advantage of no hassle scaling, and you can write your code in several languages like C Sharp, F Sharp, Node, Python, PHP, and more and it easily integrates with other Azure resources. And did I mention you can debug your Azure functions? You can, and I'll show you how in this course. So what do you need for this course? First off, come with a basic understanding of C Sharp and .NET or JavaScript, but even if you're not an expert in those, that's okay, you can follow along. You also need an Azure subscription, which you can sign up for a free trial, or use your MSDN credits. You also need an editor like Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio Community Edition is just fine, so you don't have to pay anything here. And then we'll also use some free tools like Azure Storage Explorer, Postman, and Azure Functions Core Tools. So why should you take this course? Well, of course, to level up your Azure skills, your serverless skills, and your cloud architecture skills. So come join me in getting started with Azure Functions.